Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Today on Dreams Feature Games, we're going to be looking up a certain dreamer. Oops. And his name is... Dio Hannibal 6. Now this guy is really interesting. He's an audio expert. And he's got some really cool creations. Um, I'll start off showing his not so good stuff. So I think one of his first attempts that he made was let's crank it up to 11. Uh, you'll see it's kind of got some cool music. Uh, but it's mostly just a platformer where you jump on top of bananas and try to get up and stuff. I think this was one of his, his earliest creations in Dreams. The music is good, but the gameplay isn't all that great. Um, later though, he remixed it into something very interesting. A remix of Lex Crank It Up to 11. Um, I would say this is kind of like a horror, because you've got the same monkey, but then you've got these freakish warped versions of the monkeys following you around with all this weird stuff going on and the same music so I think this is a big improvement instead of just another platformer game you've got this bizarre weird experience with the music happening so that's pretty cool now the first creation of his that really got me interested in him I'm going to show you is Dance Into the Abyss um, this is a really cool game. I like it a lot. So this I would call one of his audio sensory experiences. You've got several different controls. Um, L1 plays Foreign Born Debonair Toast and J Yoder. Uh, R1 is Continue Urkimet. R2 is Matmos by Debonair Toast and X is Black Rainbow by Debonair Toast so you can play different songs as you go through the area and as you'll see it, it creates different effects in the environment now I'm going to turn off my mic because I know the game audio is usually pretty low and I want you to be able to turn up your volume and experience uh, what's going to happen it's pretty cool
So as you, you can see it was a pretty cool blend of being able to control the audio. You press the different buttons to play different songs and it turns on light in the area. Um, I really liked it a lot. It really surprised me when I first played it. It was a pretty unique experience and he's starting to develop this kind of game even better. Now Dance in the Abyss 2 isn't a lot better. It was kind of a step back. But we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So this you're supposed to collect these music notes and I think when you originally made it, I don't think you could even change the music. Um, but I think he's added some controls. And you use the spin part to keep that creature gift from getting at you. But um, I did criticize him for this one and told him that he'd taken what was a really cool audio sensory experience and just made it into kind of a collectathon. Um, and I think he took that, whoa, I think he took that to heart and then he added those controls and then his next game, which we'll play last, ha is an even bigger improvement on the audio sensory uh, concept that he's been using. I'm going to go ahead and collect all of these and I'll turn off my mic so you can enjoy the music better. So yeah, I, I kind of like that one. Um, I think he improved it a bit. Now we're going to play the one he's made most recently, Into the Light. Now, Into the Light doesn't have much of any interact interactability, I don't think. I don't think there's any buttons you can press to change the music. But uh, as you'll see, as you walk through the area, um, the visuals change, the music changes, and it's just a really cool experience that uses a great blend of visuals and audio. Oh, I should should look. Um, Debonair Toast, who's another audio expert on Dreams, um, also helped with this. Um, so I'm going to turn off my mic again, and so you can experience this.
Ah, that is so cool. I love that. Yeah, so I wouldn't, you can't really call these dreams, or sorry, games per se, but I like to refer to them as audio sensory experiences, and I think he's getting a lot better at making them. In fact, it's better when he doesn't put any gameplay in them, because like the Let's Crank It Up to 11 is not a great platformer, and Dance in the Abyss 2 had some collecting, but the collectathon aspect of it didn't improve it at all. It's much better when he just concentrates on creating really cool visuals and audio and everything that makes it a really cool experience. So that has been um, the creations of oh, Dio Hannibal. How do I exit? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, these are the creations of Dio Hannibal, and I hope he continues to create these audio sensory experiences, because I really enjoy them. So anyway, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay.